I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. I recently came across an interesting video that shows a balloon magically popping. Something like this. Now, as all of you know, I don't do magic. I do science. But I did cheat a bit in that video and didn't quite show you everything. However, unlike magicians, I'm happy to reveal my secrets. Let's get popping. Remember, science is fun, but can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. And if you happen to have a citrus or a latex allergy, do not try this at home. We're gonna pop balloons without touching them. For this, you'll need natural latex balloons. Water balloons work really, really well for this. And an orange. Don't look at me like that. Yes. I said in orange. First, inflate and tie off the balloon. Then, tear off a section of the orange peel. Now here's what you didn't see in the earlier video. Squeeze the peel towards the balloon so some of the oil from the peel falls onto the balloon. It just seems weird that an orange peel can pop a balloon without even touching it, right? Well, let's look at what's happening a little bit closer. If you've ever peeled an orange, you know that orangey smell that comes with it can stick to your fingers. A lot of that smell comes from the peel. As you can see here, when an orange peel is squeezed, it releases oils. Those oils are what creates that smell. One of those oils is called D-limonene, and it's found in actually many different citrus fruits. Now, there's a very complicated method for extracting it, or you can go online and buy a bottle of it. It's actually used as a cleanser. Let's take another go at this experiment, this time only with D-limonene. If we place one drop of D-limonene on this balloon, it pops! So the D-limonene in the orange peel is clearly what's causing the balloon to pop, but why? Well, that comes down to a basic chemistry concept. Like dissolves like. In chemistry, molecules, the tiny particles that make up everything, can be divided into two categories, polar and nonpolar. Polar molecules atoms, like water, are arranged so there's a slight charge at opposite ends of the molecule. Nonpolar molecules, like vegetable oil, don't have a charge. Think of it like this. When you mix sugar and water, both of which are polar molecules, the sugar dissolves in the water. Like dissolves like. But if we mix vegetable oil, a nonpolar molecule, and water, a polar molecule, they don't dissolve because they aren't alike. Well, this isn't a perfect rule. Not all likes will dissolve in likes. In this case, the latex in the balloon is dissolved by the D-limonene, both of which are nonpolar molecules. When the tiny droplets of D-limonene from the orange peel come in contact with the balloon, it dissolves the latex of the balloon where it hits. That tiny hole causes the balloon to pop. You can think of it like as though we take a pin and pop a balloon, only in this case, the pin is D-limonene. In fact, if you read the instructions on the D-limonene, it says do not use this with certain plastic products because it can damage those products. But not all balloons will pop with D-limonene. In fact, there are some balloons that have been specially chemically treated to be more durable, so they don't react to the D-limonene. I've also mentioned that D-limonene is found in other citrus fruits, like lemons, limes, and grapefruit. So would those pop a balloon? Well, I think that's something for you to figure out at home. But the most important thing to take away is that if you're planning a party, don't handle oranges while you're getting ready. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>